large facilities will open to the public acres of brand new Chevrolet cars and trucks, each one clearly marked with USA One final factory closeout price reduction tags. This week only, all in one location for your inspection, all carrying the full GM factory warranty. Let's go! And now, here's our host, Rick Martindale! Thank you very much. Hello again, Charlie. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Tic Tac Doe. We're delighted to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Let's meet our current champion. She won a contestant search in Baltimore, right, Charlie? Right, you are, Wink. Our current champion is the winner of the Tic Tac Doe Baltimore contestant search. She's a nurse whose interest includes singing and community theater. And her winnings total in cash and prizes $30,850. Meet Colleen Gilpin. And her challenger, he's a developmental technician whose interest includes scuba diving and windsurfing. Meet Danny Scala. Say hello to Colleen, Danny. As I pointed out on the last show, uh, you had just been introduced and we ran out of time, but you were here once before. We made a mistake and called you wrong on something, so we invited you back. It's great to be back. And in asking him about what's been happening to him, uh, he and his wife are expecting a little one in uh, not too many months from That's now. That's right. Since I'm not, not a diver anymore, I don't go to sea. I had more times for things like that. So obviously. <laughs> obviously, right? Doing a good job. <laughs> Welcome back. And good luck to you. Colleen, we'll get a new game underway in just a second. First of all, I want to welcome you back. Thank you. Flying in every day from Baltimore, Maryland. <laughs> Must be awfully worn out. Kind of tired. My tall. arms are tired. The arms are just killing me. Yeah, no. <laughs> and let's see, you won, what, $30,850? <laughs> What's the most important... Uh, win so far the automobile on the last the car. Show? The car oh i never expected to get that far yeah well never. you have and who knows where it's going to stop he's going to try to stop you real yeah. fast let's find out if it happens can he win or will she continue here we go with a brand new game between denny scarla our challenger and colleen gilpin our current champion we need some subjects so let's take a look at them we're dealing this time with take a letter jump in category strange facts aquatic biology dropouts trivia there movies top 10 and suitable titles Colleen, from those nine subjects, where would you like to start? I'd like to start in the upper left-hand corner with take a letter. All right, here's your question, Colleen. Your letter is C, C. This word refers to the silky envelope a caterpillar spins around itself. Inside this envelope, the transformation into a butterfly occurs. The word comes from an old French word meaning eggshell. Name it. Cocoon. Right, it would be a cocoon. You took a letter, turned out to be C, the word cocoon, that means an X. Let's shuffle. Danny, it's your turn. I'd like to go in the bottom left with uh, aquatic biology. Okay, and here's your question in that category, Denny. This gigantic variety of sea seaweed may form stalks more than 200 feet long. It's harvested and made into a wide variety of products, including fertilizer, ice cream, and explosives. Name this variety of seaweed. Kelp. Yes, giant kelp, it's called. Kelp or seaweed? Put a no there. Let's shuffle again. $400 pot, Colleen. I would like in the upper right-hand corner, take a letter. All right, it did well last time with this one. This time your letter is M, M. This word refers to the art of cheating. I'm Excuse sorry. This word refers to the art of creating useful and beautiful objects by tying knots in cord, rope, or string. This skill can be used to make clothing, purses and decorative wall hangings or plant holders. The word comes from the aerobic, from the Arabic for fringe. Name that art. Macrame. I, it was easy for you. I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Boy, I didn't get that one. We'll study that one when I get home later. Colleen, we put another X on the board. $600 in the pot. Benny, your turn. I'd like to go for the block with Trivia Dare. Trivia Dare, all right. I'll read the question. You'll have to decide if you want to answer it first or dare your opponent to answer first. How many times does the average person swallow during dinner? Is it 80 times, 165 times, or 295 times? Now, Denny, do you want to answer it first? If you're incorrect, your opponent will then get to answer. Or do you want to dare her to go first? If she's incorrect, you get the opportunity to answer from the remaining two choices. But if she answers it correctly, of course, she would have tic-tac-toe, her sixth win. It would give her $800 for a total of $31,650. Denny, if you answer it, of course, you'll have your block. What do you want to do? Hard to give this away to a nurse who might know this <laughs> answer. I'm going to try it, Wink. All right, 80 times, 165 times, or 295 times we swallow. 
What do you say? The middle one. What was that again? 160. The middle one was 165 times. Is that your answer? 165. That's my answer. No, that's incorrect. So, Colleen, if you answer from the two remaining choices and answer correctly, you'll have your sixth win on Tic Tac Toe. $800 for the win. That would take your total to $31,650. So is it 80 times or 295 times? 295 times. You have tic-tac-toe. <laughs> so, Colleen, you won again. And with that $800, I want to remind you your total as we go to play the dragon again shortly is $31,650 billion. Well, Jenny, of those three choices, I don't blame you for throwing it to the nurse. I don't, you took a shot at it. You didn't win it. But we do thank you for playing the game. Nice to see you again. And good luck. I hope you have a bouncing baby girl or boy, but a good, healthy baby. We'll be back in a moment. I used to eat at Gary Needham's stuff all the time, but now I come to Steve Moss because I like his hot dogs better. They're Eckert's Queen Supreme. Steve's mom says Mr. Eckert chops off a lot of fat. So this what is it, Charlie? It's a brand new car! The wagon comes equipped with luxury features like air conditioning, AM, FM stereo, tinted glass, and roof racks, plus the confidence of Select Drive, the all service four wheel drive system furnished by American Motors. And now back to you, Wink. Okay, Colleen, it's time for you to go up against the dragon. So if you'll join me over here, we'll get on with it. Welcome back. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, I'm you ready. are like the battery. You are ever ready, aren't ever you? Ever ready. All right. Little things come in uh, powerful packages, right? Oh, You've already proven that. Behind these numbers are various amounts of money, a tick, a tack, and of course the thing there. Another world. Reach $1,000 or more, get tick and tack, and here's what you're going to win. Listen. Colleen, with these gifts for your bedroom, you'll truly be pampered. First, Colleen, you'll relax with pleasure as you pamper your back in this revolutionary balance chair. The original balance variable. Curved runners automatically align the chair for personal comfort at desk or dining height. For people who care about their backs, balance chair by West Norfa. Then you luxuriate in the feel of these plush satin sheets. From Whisper Soft Mills, luxurious super satin bedding designed for comfort and elegance. For a new dimension in sleep experience, cover your bed with super satin from Whisper Soft Mills. Next, you'll lie back in comfort on this firm mattress. Energize yourself on award-winning Metacoil by Therapeutic. The mattress sleeping the world. With patented anti-sag support and non-rip handles, too. And finally, Colleen, you'll treat yourself royally when you add this lavish prize, this beautiful bedroom suite. Armstrong has combined clean contemporary styling with functional design to create this distinctive bedroom suite. Features rich pecan finish and brass finished hardware from Armstrong. This pampered package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,500. Why did you smile so when he said bedroom suite? Mine is about 13 years old and has all the nicks and all the wonderful things that children give to it. <laughs> so it's about ready to go out the back door, huh? Ready for retirement. Win this one. We'd love to give it to you. All you have to do is beat the dragon. Let's cover him up and move him around. <laughs> Jennifer, you feel lucky this time, sweetheart? Number one. Numero uno. Number one gives you tact. That's a good beginning. Number three. Jenny says number three is a good one, is it? There goes the bedroom suit. Sweet, by, right out the back door. <laughs> In the front and out the back. Mattress, satin, bedding, and chairs. They were all such a nice bedroom package. But you didn't win it. Let's talk about what you did win, though. Six games of tic-tac-toe, an automobile, and a total of $31,650. Let's look at the rest of the board to show you that it was all there. And had you not passed over number two to go to number three, you would have had an automatic win with Tick and Tack. However, let's meet a new player and start all over again. Better luck next time against the Dragon, Colleen. Charlie, who's next, please? Oh, wait, she's a student whose interests include dancing and whitewater rafting. Meet Debbie Scott. <laughs> Hello, Debbie. Smile a while. I like a person with a good smile. Colleen has one, and you certainly have one, too. Tell us a little bit about your studies. I'm a ministry student at the Church of Religious Science in Redondo Beach. And after graduation, do you know where your congregation's going to be? Well, rather than have a congregation, I'd like to initiate a new program, a social program for children. What kind of program is that? 
Well, there's so many children that have to come home to empty houses every day that I would like to get the churches in the neighborhood to unite together and make neighborhood safe centers for children to go to after school until their parents get home. What a nice thought. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That's very neat. Debbie, you have anybody in the audience? But Colleen has a whole group out there, so how yes, about you? Yes, I do. I have a whitewater rafting buddy, <laughs> Joby. Oh, the one with a big smile there. Yeah. Joby, all right. Anybody else? No, that's it. Is it Joby? Joby. J-O-B-I-E, huh? Right. All He's right, the one Debbie. Debbie talked me into coming down here. All right. Good luck to you, <laughs> Debbie. Colleen, let's take a look at the board. The subjects are going to be for this game: Explorers, Player Pass, Names the Same, Poetry, Situation Comedies, Auction. Maps of Nations, Double or Nothing, and Second Jobs. Colleen, if you're ready, begin, please. I'd like to start in the upper right-hand corner for Names the Same. Okay, and here's your question, Colleen. A sexy actress named Angie shares her last name with a reclusive American poet named Emily. Give me the last name they have in common. Dickinson. Yes, Angie Dickinson and Emily Dickinson. Very well done. Put an X there. Andy, <laughs> select, please. Names the Same in the center, please. In the center, all right. Same category, but a two-parter worth $300. This pop singer named John, who had hits like Annie's song, shares his last name with a comic actor who starred in sitcoms like Gilligan's Island. First, give me their shared last name, and then give me the comedian's first name. And I'll give you a few seconds to think on that. Okay, a pop singer named John shares his last name with a comic actor who was in Gilligan's Island. Give me their shared last name. Denver. Yeah, give me the comedian's first name. Bob. That's right. Bob Denver <laughs> and John Denver. John the singer and Bob the comedian, of course, from Gilligan's Island. Put an O there. Good way to begin, Debbie. Let's shuffle. Colleen, your turn again. Oh, I think I'll try uh, second jobs. Top center. Question. Colleen, this well-known TV cook actually worked during World War II for an espionage agency that was the forerunner of the CIA. Her best-selling cookbooks and a TV show called The French Chef have made her a celebrity. Name her. Julia Child? That's correct. Excuse me, Wayne. Right. Excuse me, Wayne. The contestant answered Julia Childs with an S. That is an incorrect answer. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It has to be the exact name, oh, and I you understand. said Childs. It's not plural. Child. It's yeah, Julia no Child. So I have to call that incorrect. That's fine. The CIA, that kind of got yeah. me. I didn't know that. Okay, let's move the categories around and continue. Still 1X and 1O on the board. $500 in the pot. Debbie? Uh, names the same, please. You all like that category, don't yes. you? Yes. So do I. <laughs> Try this one. He was a football star whose real first name is Orenthal. She was an American named Wallace who fell in love with King Edward of England and married him. What is the last name they share? Simpson. That's right. O.J. Simpson and <laughs> Wallace Simpson. O.J.'s real name, Orenthal. Orenthal Simpson. Name's the same. Put an O there. We shuffle again. $700 pot now, Colleen. I would like to try explorers in the lower right-hand corner for the block. For a diagonal block of Debbie, the Spanish explorer named Ponce de Leon led the first exploration of this southern state. He was actually looking for a mythical land where the Fountain of Youth was said to be located. For a block, name the state he explored. Florida. Yes, the state of Florida. Let's get to a diagonal block. Let's shuffle. $900 resting on the game. Debbie, it's your turn to select. Uh, maps of the Nations. Okay, for a for vertical block. block of Colleen. Take a look at this map. Debbie? Though this country is often considered the birthplace of democracy, women were not allowed to vote in elections until 1952. For a block, name the country. Greece. That is Greece, and you have the successful vertical block. So we put an O there in the pot with the addition of that $200. We're up to $1,100 on this game. We'll be back in just a moment. You shuffle and Colleen from Baltimore. Your turn. I would like to try Explorers for the win. All right, no, that's it's right. Not. You will. No, it's not. I lied. Explorers <laughs> for the block. Colleen, let, didn't me mean to lie. let me explain to you the difference between what an X looks like and what an O looks like, all right? Oh, this will okay. only take a moment. An X goes like this, and an O is round. You understand? All right. You're going for a what now, Colleen? I'm going for an X. That's right. You're going a for a block. Here's the question. Well, it's, it's a first. We've been doing this all this time. It has never happened before. Colleen, when this newspaper reporter finally found the long-lost African explorer, David Livingston, he spoke the famous line, Dr. Livingston, I presume? For a block, name him. Stanley. That's right, Sir Henry Morton Stanley. 
You were getting a little ahead of yourself there, Carly. You know, I'll go over the wind. All right, we'll put an X there. Let's shuffle. Debbie, your turn. Uh, double or nothing, please. Top center, double or nothing. You get a chance to earn two boxes on this turn, but first you have to answer this question. Debbie, the subject of this double or nothing question is famous trials. Famous trials. In June of 1982, in a controversial verdict, a federal jury in Washington, D.C. found this man not guilty by reason of insanity. He had been tried for the attempted assassination of President Reagan. Name that would-be assassin. Uh, Hinkley. That's right, you got in just in time. You barely came in under the buzzer. John Hinkley, John W. Hinkley. Did you have a middle block there? Yes. Yeah. Right? <laughs> okay, now you can win two boxes on this turn if uh, you earn the box that you're about to select. Answer that question correctly, you get both boxes missing, you get neither one. Which box would you like? I guess I'm going to have to go for auction for the win. All right, auction. Yeah, that's right. Well, if you get this right, you'll have tic-tac-doe, and you will pick up $1,700 and become our champion. You know how the auction works, though, Debbie and Colleen. In this category, you both bid on how many correct answers you can give. The high bidder gets control. Here's the question. The European economic community, sometimes called the common market, consists of 10 member nations. I want to know how many you can name. Now remember, Debbie, you're going for tic-tac-doe, which would give you $1,700 if you end up winning. Colleen, first you are going for a block. Debbie, start. I can name two. You think you can name two of the uh, countries in the common market. Colleen, yes. how many do you think you can name? I think I can go four. You think you can go four. Debbie, you want to go five or more? No. Let's let her try it. All right, Colleen. All you have to do is name four. Four of the nations in the common market. Again, let's go. Great Britain. Great Britain is one. France. France is two. You need two more. Spain. Spain is incorrect, and Debbie, all you have to do is name one, and you'll have tic-tac-toe and $1,700. Germany? Germany is correct. You have tic tac -toe. Congratulations, Debbie. West Germany, and uh, you named Germany, and of course you didn't have to say West, but you got Germany, and that's all you needed. And uh, Spain was the one you missed on, Colleen, right? Yes, Let me was. name the others that were not named so that you'll know how many were left. Ireland was acceptable. Italy is a member of the common market. Luxembourg, uh, the Netherlands, or Holland, uh, Belgium, Denmark, and Greece. So, Debbie, you are our new champion on Tic-Tac-Doe with $1,700. Thank you. Debbie Scott, we'll go up against the dragon in just a moment. Well, Colleen, you came so close yet so far there, it only takes one to miss on this show. But unfortunately, in every game, we have a winner and a loser. Colleen, I got to tell you, you're anything but a loser. Representing WMAR in Baltimore, you did a beautiful job. Thank and you. And I know they are going to be as proud of you back there as we are, and vice versa. And Jennifer... You did a beautiful job out there, darling. We got to show her one more time with Colleen's mom and their friends. You leave us with $31,650, Colleen. Good luck and God bless. Thank you so much. We'll be back.